Let's start with this rollback on Dodd-Frank. Uh, they keep saying it's mainly targeted, although not exclusive, mainly targeted on the smaller banks, and particular banks under $100 billion. Uh, is it the right time? Did they go too far with the regulation in the wake of 2008-2009? I thought the Dodd-Frank Act uh, was a huge disappointment. It went way too far. We needed regulatory reform. We just didn't need the reform uh, we received. And now is a good time to try and roll back some of the worst aspects of Dodd-Frank. Uh, now, as a practical matter, when these things happen, uh, there's a lot of lobbying that goes on, a lot of special interests get in there. The basic change, and we'll put up a full screen actually illustrating the basic changes in this S2155, uh, are really increasing the level that you have to be to be called a SIFI, right, uh, uh, to have the full panoply of prudential regulation. And then really cutting down to, from $100 to $250 billion, you can see. And then at, at the smaller banks, they'll be subject to stress tests, but not the SIFI designation. And then also, Frankly, they're going to do away with Volcker altogether on $10 billion and other. Is that a reasonable way to cut up the pie? It's certainly a reasonable way to cut up the pie. I know that in the House, uh, Chairman Hansarling has uh, suggested that there's a need for further action, and I think he's probably right. But I think that the Senate bill reflects a bipartisan compromise, and getting some legislation through will be enormously helpful. Bipartisan is an interesting word. We don't hear it much these days in Washington. Why is this bipartisan? Now, it's not entirely. There are some uh, Democratic senators, such as Elizabeth Warren, who are dead set against this. But a lot of Democrats are going along with this proposal. Why is that? I think they recognize that, particularly for community banks and smaller banks, um, the legislation in Dodd-Frank just cut with um, uh, not enough uh, discernment between the sizes of banks, the nature of their businesses, and the like. We need regulations, but we don't need the kinds of regulations that apply one size to everyone, and that's what Dodd-Frank did.